guys. Dave Gardner from uh, Basic Lacrosse, LacrosseGamas.com. Now, wonder why I'm getting a little low. I need to change the angle of the video a little bit because we want to talk just for a minute here about ground balls and the importance of ground balls. Now, one of the things that gets coaches probably the most angered is when you get lazy and you do this and just use one hand to get your ground balls. You want to make sure you always have two hands on that stick. You're going to have more control. You're going to be ready to cradle right away, and you're going to be ready to possibly even throw it or toss it or flip it to a teammate where if you just had one hand it's not going to be as easy. I'm not saying that it can't happen and it doesn't happen and that it won't happen and sometimes you might need to do it but you know 99 out of 100 times you're going to want to make sure you get low for the ground balls. So if we have our ball here we want to make sure that we're not coming in with our stick straight up because sometimes you're just going to do a javelin and you're going to hurt yourself. I was watching uh, a championship game a while back and a defenseman actually did this basically knocked himself out of the game for about a good 15 minutes because he knocked himself out but he also bent his, his shaft. You want to make sure that that lead leg is almost blocking the ball when you come through and you get both hands low. You may have heard the expression get both butts on the ground. You got your butt end and your real butt. So you want to make sure don't do it awkward with this side. Okay, My left hand and my left foot are going to be more comfortable. I'm going to have a better base and get ready to go and then maybe even throw it to a teammate. So I want to bust through that ball and instantly start cradling. Okay? Bust through it, start cradling.